Pardon the pun, but 2021 was a boom of a year for wrestling music, especially in AEW, where much of the credit belongs to hit the music favorite Mikey Ruckus for contributing some amazing anthems at an alarming rate for young and also existing talent. However, there are some songs and the wrestlers who use them that have yet to get that big push to finally break out. But this might be their year, because I'm Kevin Callis, and here are Kevin's seven AEW entrance themes poised for greatness in 2022. Once thought of as a joke, a meme, and a gag for the internet to laugh about, it turns out that Hook is legit AF and a star in the making. With a little more in-ring training and mic work, AEW has their fifth pillar of the future, and the buzz that Hook's debut created on the December 10th edition of Rampage was all the hip and cool adjectives that the kids use these days. It was lit, dope, sick, smooth, and definitely not mid. The 22-year-old son of ECW original Taz, Hook was sent, and he walked down the ramp for his first ever match having American rapper Action Bronson single The Chairman's Intent as his entrance music. If you're not familiar with Bronson's work, most every verse he raps about is devoted to one of three things. Food, the opposite sex, and professional wrestling. And most of them contain all three. This song made all the hookers out there pop huge as what you gonna do when hookamania runs wild on you, brother. Pardon our French, but hey, Seuss Christo, what a physical specimen Jade Cargill is. The fitness model turned pro wrestler could kick my ass every day of the week and twice on Sunday. And truthfully, that'd be all right with me. Now, despite her limited experience inside the squared circle, the jacked Jade has screamed star since she first stepped foot out onto the AEW stage and performed incredibly in her debut match with none other than Shaq Diesel. From her X-Men Storm inspired entrance to her unmatchable strength and agility, Jade definitely has that it factor, along with a charisma that should make her a future AEW Women's Champion. And at the time of you watching this, she might even be the inaugural TBS Champion. But let's take a closer look and listen at her impressive theme song. It's truly epic with a mesmerizing guitar reminiscent of something you'd hear from old school WCW. A storm is certainly brewing and her name is Jade Cargill. AEW's resident blowhard, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, is without question the heel of all heels today. He crosses lines with his curt tongue that no other wrestlers have the balls to do by just being himself. And that's a shoot, Marks. MJF is not a gimmick. MJF is MJF 24-7, 365, and you have to respect his commitment to being a true heel in an era when kayfabe is all but dead. His despicable acts get a rise out of everyone, and yet, when you think about it, his Better Than You theme song by These Wolves featuring AK-40 Devon, it's kind of generic and douchey. However, in reality, that's quite fitting for the salt of the earth. Truth is, this theme has a sick beat and is a complete bop that will put you in a New York state of mind as we all watch MJF continue to talk the talk and walk the walk and be must-see TV now and for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Speaking of MJF, what we have here is a headbanger extraordinaire that signals the arrival of Mr. Mayhem. Boasting incredible power and athleticism, Wardlow is a beast that's proven himself to be one of the rising stars of AEW. Oh, and we can't wait for the pop when the war dog finally breaks out of his toxic relationship being Max's bodyguard, or as Tony Schiavone prefers to refer to him as that little pimple on the ass of wrestling. And that will truly be a moment when a star is born. Now, according to Ruckus, this is War is a spin on Disturbed meeting Slipknot, two heavy metal bands whose shredding riffs will melt your face and make your ears bleed. Not that we recommend cranking up the volume to dangerous decibel levels where that can occur, so kids, please don't try this at home. Bottom line, this theme is a banger that tells you all you need to know about AEW's first hard-hitting p, -p, -p, -p powerhouse
It goes without saying that AEW's talent pool is second to none right now, boasting a roster packed with established legends of the business, certified indie darlings, and talents rising from the ground up. The All Elite EVPs aren't exactly stuck like the WWE is when it comes to handpicking their next top guy or top girl. There is no shortage of rising talent just waiting to break out, and we for one would put powerhouse Hobbs close to the top of that list. Prior to joining Team Taz, Will Hobbs was a babyface with a theme entitled Hashtag Willpower. However, when he became a full-fledged badass assassin for the orange and black attack, he was rechristened Powerhouse, and thus his song became p p, -p, -p powerhouse This is the sound of a man on a mission no, yeah, okay. And a force of nature looking to dominate in 2022 as one of the few big men in AEW. Now, some of you might think that this theme has already reached a GOAT level, but hear us out. Who doesn't love Hangman Adam Page these days? Men all have man crushes on him and his cowboy-ish. Women all wish he could crush them with his cowboy... <laughs> And wrestling fans have embraced the anxious millennial cowboy as the de facto babyface AEW world champion. After having spent a little while riding many a mile, Hangman has gotten to where he is today thanks to amazing character development that has featured an incredible personality arc. But it's his unique wayward western theme song, Ghost Town Triumph by Vincent Padula that truly captures all of who Wangman is and what he stands for. The lone solo guitar intro blossoms into sounding like a classic classic Clint Eastwood movie theme, casting a certain aura over the arena every time it plays. Page has been an underrated workhorse his entire career, but now is the time to carry the company on his horse back. Everything about FTR screams 1980s wrestling. These two Tar Heels from North Kakalaki are from the heart of Crockett Country, so it's no surprise as to why they so strongly embrace the throwback style of NWA tag team wrestling. And when beautiful Bobby Eaton passed away during the summer of 2021 at the age of 62, wrestling fans, young and old, mourned the loss of one of the greatest tag team wrestlers to have ever laced up a pair of wrestling boots. Wanting to pay homage to one of their fallen heroes, Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler, initially repped the classic striped Midnight Express themed trunks. But these living legends took it to another level with a little help from Ruckus and came up with a juicy new synth wave inspired remix of the Midnight's original theme song. 2022 will be the year that FTR will be remembered as the tag team who stepped up and honored a bygone era, giving it all the respect it deserves in a new and radically different frontier of the business. Top guys out. So what do you think? Did we get this list right or wrong? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And go on and share the video with one of your friends who you think might also like it because it really helps our channel grow and reach new people. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for weekly wrestling theme song content and don't forget to follow us on social media and we'll see you next time. Now, hit the music.